first thing that I want to look at today is what's actually included in the definition of a small business. Um, there are different industry um, the definitions, there are um, different interpretations of what a small business is. Typically these agree on certain things. It's from um, the, the start-up phase to um, employing around 50 people. Um, they typically are owner-managed and they're often run by families and friends. Um, they tend to focus on what they know um, and actually fallouts and failures um, within these type of businesses come at a particular high price. Um, certainly in, in the type of work that we see from clients um, you know, when fallouts do occur and failures do occur of these businesses the effects of which are devastating on a, a, a small group of individuals involved. You're going to assess where a small business's risks are, what's their attitude to risk and, and typically um, focusing on how to assess this you know, high risk factors would be um, something which is a speculative nature where um, the business owners have limited funds, where perhaps there's no business plan uh, or the business plan is unwritten, where they perhaps have no management experience or no industry knowledge and experience. It might be something that they've spotted as an opportunity, but they're, you know, um, they're, they're, they're taking a punt that they're going to be able to take their skills from another sector and apply them within the, the specific sector. Um, and also high risk would be anywhere where there's um, stock or setup costs which are high. Um, the sort of low risk factors are typically that there's no stock involved, that there's limited startup costs, they've got um, good industry knowledge, they've got management experience perhaps within the industry they've well researched their project, they've got a business plan which is established and working for them, or they've got a business plan which has been tested and, and, and looks robust, and they've got a solid financial footing. Now, when you're assessing those risks, you will assess them against the, um, the, the business structures which are available. Um, in relation to taxation, um, personal taxation factors include, of course, income tax, national insurance contributions, capital gains tax, uh, and value-added tax, VAT. Uh, business tax is typically, uh, you know, with a limited company include corporation tax, VAT again, uh, capital gains tax again, um, and perhaps having to file a, an LLP return. Um, when looking at the... Um, the risk factors, you'll, you'll contemplate insurance with your client. You'll look at um, what risks are covered by the insurance. Um, you know, is, if this is a one-man business, you know, is that key man insured? What happens if uh, that key man is no longer available? What happens um, if that key man is unwell? What happens if they're knocked over and killed by a bus tomorrow? You know, that still applies in a partnership because in a partnership, if you have two people and one of them suddenly is not available, whether that be a short-term um, you know, sustained illness of perhaps a few months or a longer-term death or, or serious incapacity, um, you know, what, what happens then? Um, health insurance, you know, do, the, do they need it? Have they got it? Um, employee insurance in terms of both employment tribunal claims and court claims, but also in terms of, you know... Um, Employers' liability insurance. You know what what happens if they have an accident on the premises? Are you know are, are you insured? And public liability insurance. You know you've got people visiting your premises. You know what what happens if they have an accident? Um, and typically we see sort of public liability insurance being um, sort of missed by people who in small businesses who. Uh, perhaps initially set up from home, they have somebody come and visit them at home, they're not insured for public liability, they trip on the driveway. Um, happens, you know, infrequently, but frequently enough for it to, to, you know, to rise a smile amongst other lawyers when I speak to them about things that have gone wrong. Mm -hmm.